I guarantee you an octopus cannot kill me. The B-side word. Okay, update on Elon Musk's Neuralink, mm. um, which we've talked about before, but just to recap, um, Neuralink is the chip that they want to implant in your brain, um, which basically will allow you to communicate with other people without having to verbally communicate, Yeah, I guess. Was that right? It'll, Something it's, along it's those lines? Do, it does a lot of things. That's one and a lot of more things. than that. It'll and do, a lot yeah. more. So another, I don't, I don't want him in my brain. Another yeah. update to this is Elon has confirmed because he was asked the question about music, and he said um, basically that uh, the chip will allow music to be played straight into your brain, like so you're not going to need headphones or anything like that, which I thought was um, pretty cool too. No, I, no, I'm going to need headphones. So yeah. he and he says that the the chip could help cure mental um, problems like depression and addiction and Parkinson's. Um, but he, his ultimate thing is that he's he living, wants... He's living in a fantasy world. Well, he wants the Neuralink to allow humans to compete with AI, basically. But um, the way that uh, the chip gets into your brain is they have to remove part of your skull and then um, mm. and the device with its electrode threads will be fitted into the brain. No, no, no. No, no, no. Living in a Correction, correction, correction. Oh, and also... Whoa, whoa. This bit... Oh, correction. Oh, I thought you said, yeah, yeah, go. Um, so I listened to uh, an interview about this very recently, like an update. Uh, Elon Musk, what he's doing with this, his plans, he's thought so far beyond the actual solution of the chip that you won't need to have that happen for the chip to be implanted. What oh. the whole the whole thing that he's thought. So he's thought about things like right now, if you want to do anything with the brain, you have to have your head shaved to go into surgery and all that kind of stuff. He's yeah. envisioned it being to the point where they're not shaving my locks. <laughs> <laughs> his his plan <laughs> is he's building the technology and the robot they have that does the surgery apparently is something like a thousand times more accurate than they use in surgeries currently. Like that's the level they're working at. But they want to get right. it so you can just go to your doctor in ten minutes. They just do it and then you leave. Um, no having to do anything, no surgery, and that he's even thinking about things like the fact that. You don't need. It's, he doesn't want it to be as such that you have to go like get it recharged all the time, things like that. So he's thinking of all the problems that happen once you have it, yeah. fixing those before they roll it out. So are you going to be the, the first wave of people or no? I am not, but he's even. <laughs> we, we've talked about the uh, the accessibility side, how it could yeah. create a gap if it's just given to the wealthy now. Yeah, he's even said things like that. Like he wants. He doesn't want it to be something that when it comes out is only accessible to a few. He he wants it to be accessible to as many people as possible. Like wow. at the jump. Just we're gonna lose the we're gonna that. lose the skill of communication. The, this is the only one thing that I is slightly concerning and it puts me off because I think this is awesome. But I think they've st- they've already carried out trials on animals and I don't like that. They've carried out trials on animals and human trials um, are scheduled to be held this year. But why submit the poor animals to it? It's something Uh, that humans want to do. So test it out on the humans that want to be tested out on first. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I just think that fits a bit I'm waiting. I'm waiting for like like the the animals, like the dolphins and all the the wise looking animals, right? They just like unzip. And they go, look, guys, this has gone too far. <laughs> this has gone too far. This shit's gone too far. Look, we're, we're, we're pulling the plug. Yeah. And they pull the drain out of the sea, look, literally. You, you know what? You, you you took our tusk. You took our ivory and all that kind of stuff. We we, let it, we, we said, you know what? Whatever, 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 whatever. We'll let you play it out. But this shit's gone too far. Look. <laughs> Elon, take your mask off. <laughs> You've gone too far. <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to come all to that. Imagine it's, uh, putting one of these chips into an octopus. My favorite. <laughs> Imagine Why? putting one of these chips into <laughs> because me. they are like <laughs> and knowing what I actually smart, think. And then you're going to make them smarter. They already know how to kill us, and like you know. But at least we'll know I, it's coming. I guarantee you, an octopus cannot kill me. Um, I beg to differ. D- d- okay, <laughs> I'm willing to put. All the money I earn for the rest of my life on that, and we'll see who wins because I'm not going to go where octopuses live. Yeah. If oh we- <laughs> well, yeah. I'm yeah. saying if you're putting one on one with the octopus, you, they're pretty smart. You put me one on one with most animals, I'd probably die. <laughs> <laughs>
uh, how about a mouse? Espe- especially water animals. <laughs> <laughs> what chance do I have there? See, <sighs> Siege, you know you said uh, if the chip came in, like you wouldn't want people to know what you're thinking. Now, before the Neuralink is put in, you tell us what you're thinking. <laughs> okay, no, I'm no, going to no. tell you guys. There's, I, there's, there's sicker things in my mind <laughs> that I know not to verbalize. <laughs> CJ, I can imagine CJ when something slips out. He sort the, of covers his mouth. The, Ooh, put that back in. <laughs> I wonder if there's a way. So see, see, th- the things I say go for like a quality control. Yeah. <laughs> oh, QC. <laughs> imagine this stuff that doesn't go part, get past. So I want to go a bit nerd on this quickly, on the music yeah. thing. Geek. I, w- <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if getting music directly fed to the brain will impact how the music sounds because you haven't had it, the vibrations come in oh through the goodness. ear, which is designed to funnel sound into Ooh, your brain. Wow, wow. That's incredible. Ooh, yes, wow, my wow. answer is yes. Because even when you cover your ears or do something, you can the sound changes. I reckon it will. I reckon it will, Alexander, and you'll get the full spectrum of the sound wave. That's what I'm. Th- I'm thinking you might actually get better quality. Audio yeah, yeah. Because you'll be able to get Isn't every separate thinking? frequency fired mm. in directly. We're in. getting we're, we're getting closer and closer to the matrix. What do you mean closer I, and closer? We're in it. <laughs> yeah. No, no. We're about to join with the chip about about. If you about, no, if you keep. The Matrix as a concept, but remove the technology, but the concept is still there. What's the concept? That's, is is in like the societal, um, the guise that society is under. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Essentially, that we live in that. We yeah. we live in the Matrix without the technology. Essentially, yeah. I uh, I still would I still think I would get Neuralink. Yeah, but not the first wave, or maybe not the second wave, maybe not the third wave, but. I'd st- throw, in, I'd st- throw in my next article because this just this just goes along this line. So I'm oh. just going just to right. throw it Which in. Which one is it? I- I'm never going to get that. So, guys, we need to look for a new host. Someone that's impartial to being brain. <laughs> <laughs> Dev, would you get it? No. Oh, you'd never. Never? No, me neither. I'm not never, but I wouldn't. I don't know. I'd have to watch You'd be an it. early adopter. Nah. I wouldn't be an early adopter, but I think so, I'd be know, open this to is getting a- it. The thing that the conflict I have never getting it. I wouldn't say it so early. The conflict I have with it is with being an early adopter. Is if you're an early adopter to check to make sure it works, by the time you realise it works, you're behind. And not yeah. getting yeah. it, if it becomes something that is commonplace, not getting it would pretty much guarantee you to be in poverty. Yeah. So you'd have what? to get it because you everyone would be intellectually be inferior to everyone who has it, like off bat. Yeah. So, but. Everyone else is probably controlled by a chip, and has parts. Oh, of their you're a free thinker. Brains. You're a free uh, thinker. Like parts of their personalities and their brains that are like been taken away. Yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying, but like someone can't, won't be able to be sadistic if they have the chip. I still could be sadistic, which puts me in an advantage because if I want something, I could take it. Right, but you're assuming right. what, you're assuming something's going to happen, which no one said is going to happen, and you've already said that there's going to control. It's going to help people with uh, it, mental illness, yeah. right? So there has to be something going in to your brain to keep it under control. What do you mean going in so to keep it under control? Keep, that's not how. That's not how it's going to cure dementia. It's going to cure dementia by b- repairing neurons. Yes, but. It's going to have to be like doing something to your brain, correct? Repairing neurons. So while we're repairing your neurons, they'll go, do you know what we'll do? What, what makes a serial killer? They'll eliminate it. What makes someone steal? They'll eliminate it. What makes someone do this? They'll eliminate it. And if I'm the only person that can still do it, I'll be fine. But there's a, there's a, <laughs> massive, there's a massive difference between putting information into someone's head and controlling someone. Like, yeah. There's a huge yeah. difference in those two things. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I think you're answer, You guys are answering two different questions here. Is uh, what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, 
I'll survive. Yeah, but I, no, I'd say the, the only reason I'd say you'd be at a disadvantage. I'm, there'll be a bunch of guys with chips hanging from my bed. What were you saying, say, Alexander? The, re- <laughs> I'm for the reason I say you'd be at a miss- massive disadvantage, and this is only speculation, of course, would just be because I imagine in that situation where you have the internet in your head, from an employment standpoint, you become extremely mm. invaluable compared to anyone who has the chip. So you would be the last in the pecking order to get jobs, which means you would not be financially stable. Alexander, Alexander, yes, but, with but wait, if, Siege, if wait, Alexander, you know, you know, with um, I'll be the one that CJ, shush, shush, it, CJ, get- wait, 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 the social, you know, the social um uh, rules that you said that we have now, yeah, they'd probably change though, right? Because of Neuralink, like they'd evolve into a different sort of the yeah, you know what I mean? Like society the, we would definitely have to change. Yeah, but so the employment's in that. But would money change? I think so. I think so. I think it'll be just exchange of. I don't think it'll be money anymore, because like, because of. So let let me let me challenge you on that. In the sense, I would say, if you look at the span of humanity, the more intelligent we get, the more things we create. The more things we create, the more things we want. Mm. So the more things you want, you still need that like the the economic supply and demand you still need people to provide and you still need people to to purchase and it's want is the reason we have money not need need you don't need money you need money for so, once so you've just you've just you've just blown it blown me out of the uh like with what you just said so maybe we shouldn't want any more so maybe we shouldn't go for the Neuralink and try to get more information but go the other way Depends because on the like you said through through no but i mean not not looking for that don't try to progress to that maybe we should go the other way because what you said you're right through history the more that we've advanced the more that we've wanted the more that we've needed the more all, all this we keep going forward we just f ourselves even more and we try to outsmart ourselves maybe we should go the other way and just stop progressing this is why they, and see what uh, happens the- this is why they prevent... The human race is going to lose that instinct to survive. What? Because everything's going to become very easy. What are you talking about? I Yeah, s- yeah. I, so something that has been talked about with things like this, and Neuralink, I don't know how this would impact this, um, but they've talked about the evolution of the brain and how mm. our brain has evolved bigger than a lot of other mammals and primates because of how we've had to think and use our brain for survival because we're not equipped as such like we've had to use tools to survive in the in the past yeah. um when we came down from trees and everything and now if you look from the future aspect if we keep supplementing our heavy lifting that our brain does with technology over time there's the ability there's the possibility our brain would evolve to shrink because we don't need it as much which means yeah. then from a survival standpoint we would be relying on technology to inform us on how to survive rather than our brain because Besides that instinct, this but this this fella, an instinct is something that you carry forward because it's a need. When you don't need it anymore, you lose those instincts. Right. So when I say like when I say stop progressing, stop progressing techno techno logically, technologically way, but sort of still um, embrace your instincts. Oh if no! That I was just that, I was sorry. I was just addressing what CJ was saying. Oh, what okay. you, what you're saying about that? That's why a lot of people don't like it when um, modern civilizations interfere with uh, people who like un, unspoken to tribes and things like that because they're saying you're putting your perception of what they should have onto them, but they right. could be perfectly happy where they're at. Yeah, like yeah. There's there, there's potentially a very good reason they haven't advanced. Huh. <sighs> so, so, so if, if everyone gets it, I'm the one savage. <laughs> What's that song? I'm a savage. <laughs>